Hi, uh, my name is John Munger. I am from Bhutan. Bhutan is south of China and north of India, in between China and India. I was living in Chirang, Bhutan, one of the very small village. It was a very long story, but I, I would like to say in short, I'm, I just amazed how God, a person like me, a village boy, from where God picked me and put me now in America and connected me with all the people, I have no idea. I was a very broken, even though I was a young guy. Um, I didn't know about Jesus. Nobody told me. Uh, somebody a much younger than me, 14 years young boy, came to me and gave me uh, the booklet about the love of Jesus. When I was reading that book, I felt some touch, something that speaking unto me that this is the truth. I just opened up my heart. I repented there. I was very much uh, overjoyed, like I was free from all my bondages. So that's how I dedicated my life. But my family did not understand me, like, what is this? This is a foreign, foreign religion. Why you accepted Christ? They're telling me you cannot touch food, you cannot enter in our home, you cannot come and share with us. You should, you should go away from here. And the response was not good from family. I also did not know that, you know, when people become a Christian, the government will persecute them or torture them. Because I did not deny the Lord, so because of that, I was kicked out from country Bhutan. I registered my name in refugee camp in Nepal, so I started preaching the gospel in the refugee camp. Every evening time, people gather, young people, old people, those politicians, those groups, they hear, they surround my heart. Hundreds of people, I share the gospel. I sing the songs and then pray for people and share the gospel. People surround my heart, 200, 300, 400 people. But life in refugee camp was not easy. Living under the plastic roof, where you can see everything transparent, there is no any privacy, no electricity, no any air conditioning, no any things there. United Nations provide a little rice, maybe five pound of rice for maybe one, one month. It's very limited. It was a tough life. One day, one of our friends said that there is, in that place, there is no gospel. So let us go there and preach the gospel. So with our group, we went on foot for two hours. After preaching the gospel, we were sitting in one of the house. Three men came and started charging you Bhutanese guys. Why you are here? Why you are destroying our temples? Finally, we came to know that they are the cops because they also came with the undercover dress and they arrested us. They threw us inside the dark room. And it was a summer time, it was very hot inside, full of dust. Most of the time they hit us on our mouth. And then why are you speaking Jesus? And then he, he punch you, kick you, every part of your body. And you become full of blood, swell up your mouth, your eyes, your hand. Every now and then they were asking us, you deny the Lord or not? If you deny Jesus, then you will not go to prison. But if you don't deny Jesus, then you will be in the prisons. So we didn't deny, 11 of us, we did not deny Jesus. Life was very difficult, but 15 months, God helped us to spend there in the prison. But during this 15 months time, God did a miracle. I thank God for Voice of Martyrs. News were published in the magazines and in newspaper. Believers from all over the world praying for us. And also they wrote a very strong letter to the Nepalese government to release us. So 1996 November, we were released from the prison. In 1996 to 2000, I went for my theology and God provided me very miraculously. I was preaching the gospel again and discipling the people. From 2007, 
the United States government, they wanted to bring like 60,000 refugees legally. They want to provide all the legal papers and, you know, let them come into United States. I got a call from DHS office, Department of Homeland Security. You have to come right away and sign the paper. So I went there, I signed the paper, everything was done. And then I came to United States in 2009, thinking that my prayer was answered because I will go one day in all over the world with the citizen and passport of U.S. So this is how I came to U.S. I landed in Austin Airport and uh, some case worker from Refugee Service of Texas, they came and received us and then they placed us in the apartment. That time we didn't have vehicles, we didn't have phone, we didn't have any internet. We didn't have food in the room also. I was kneeling down and I'm crying, Lord, what do you want me to do? Why you brought me in America? And God spoke to me, start the church from the apartment. Start the church. How? And then when I opened the Bible, right there, chapter 18 of Acts 9 and 10, there it says, do not be afraid, keep on speaking. In this city, I have many people. So that scripture is struck on my heart. And then, okay, Lord, from today, the church started from here. So this is how the IRC, or International Restoration Church, uh, started straight away from the Hindus and Buddhists. But how I share the gospel to them is like building a relationship with them, helping them, because the refugees are very vulnerable. They are, hard. they are very broken. They are lonely. They are missing their home. So you see, Jesus loves you. You're welcome in our church also by building the friendship, by sharing, by giving, being there in their difficulties, in their emergency need. That's how the IRC is formed in Austin, Texas. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord how God has done such a miracle thing in our life from refugee life, from the dust that he has chosen us and then brought us here. And somehow today I'm pastor in Austin, Texas. I didn't know that I will go to prison or I will, uh, government will kick me out or all these things. I, I never had any idea about that. But when I faced one by one, again, there was no any regret. There was always joy. There was always joy. There was peace inside of me. And so far today I'm standing. He is my teacher and he empowered me, anointed me. This is amazing God and he is a true God. This is what I can say. That's it.